the couch. Hey there. I'm Xerax, and welcome to the couch. Yeah, you might have noticed that I actually have a new studio, and wow, you're probably wondering how I got it, and well... <sighs> Three billion tokens? Yeah, sure, let's invest it in NFTs. Yo, is that Xerax? Oh, bear, what the hell? What are you doing here? Dude, what happened? Why are you on the streets? This oh, place sucks. I'm out of money, you know, like, you know... Dude, I invested billions of tokens in NFTs, I'm gonna be rich now. There's even that Among Us NFT old mustache that I have for 3 million billion. What are you of looking at? New studio. Yeah, sure. Bro, I'm a multi-billionaire. You know that this studio about to be good. Alright. Where's the studio? This is the studio, bro. I spent 50 cents on this bad boy. Huh? I think I can make this work. And look, I did make it work. I made some garbage NFTs and sold them for a lot of money. Yeah, sure, afterwards people started screenshotting it, but who cares? I made a crap ton of money. Anyway, before I want to actually begin the video, thank you so much for the support. Like, we hit 8k. Again, I'm just gonna say thanks so much. Um, 10k is actually really close now. Like, it's like I never thought I would even be close to 10k, so seeing that we're on at 8,000, and even when, even when I'm not, like, when there's no, like, new video, people still, like, subscribe and like the videos and comment, you know, being active, it's, 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 it's really cool, I, I, it's nice, it's great, it's whatever, it's, just thank you. That said, um, yeah, let's begin. Wreck Rally. Oh, man, I, I, I don't even know how to start this one. This is incredibly underwhelming. It's one of those Auroros that, like, it has a hype, and there's a lot of players in, like, the first few weeks, and afterwards, it's barren, it's empty, it's nobody plays it anymore. And that makes me sad. This Auroro, it looks really cool, it looks really fun, but when you actually play it, it's just boring. Like, after two rounds, I'm sick of, of the same game. It's just, it's the the same thing all the time. It's it's repetitive. It's it's one of the most boring RROs I've ever played. Like seriously, I think that even bowling is more fun than this. We've been scammed. No, but seriously, this RRO has so many flaws and problems, and like this shouldn't have been like that. This RRO feels like most of the AAA games we get nowadays, where they release some kind of beta that is incredibly broken, and then instead of, you know, re releasing the thing with the full game, they just keep it right there and they just add more things and they add more things and fix more bugs. But that's the problem. You start off with a bare bones version of what you uh, later on will like update and make better and whatever, but when they actually Actually add a lot of new things to Wreck Rally. The damage has already been done. A lot of people will not be playing that RRO because they have played it before and they didn't have as much fun as they thought they would have, and so they will not play it again. I really loved the beta of Wreck Rally. This is this is the full release of Wreck Rally, right? No, it's not. It's just like it was released, but they will update the thing. We've already seen it. They just wanted to release it as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, sure, it might be better at the end or something, but the magic is gone. Before I just continue talking trash about this game yet again, like with many of our things, <laughs> um, I just want to talk about all the issues that I have encountered in this RRO. Number one, the controls and just the buggies themselves feel incredibly slow and the input, you know, when driving, it all feels delayed. I don't know why, but the beta felt so good because the buggies were really responsive and snappy. The buggies felt fast. They were definitely faster than what we have now, and that's one of the things. We, we didn't have as many boosts as we have now. They were actually faster than what we have now, without the boosts. And the, and the drifting was just so snappy, it felt so good. Plus, the motion controls were much, much better. Like, seriously, now the motion controls feel like you really have to move your hand across your whole room just to turn the wheel to the right or to the left. It is actually garbage. The devs said that after a while, your arm would start hurting, and you know what? Sure, I can understand that. But if your arm starts hurting from this garbage motion, then why don't you just play with the other input method? You don't have to be holding your hand out like this. You can just use your controller instead. Another big issue that, again, makes this a really repetitive is the lack of maps. It's just a single map, three laps, and it's over. That's the whole thing. There's like a few ways to drive differently, you know, on the map. There's a few shortcuts, even though I feel like the shortcuts in this map are garbage and they really don't help 
help at all. Plus, you won't really notice some of them. Like, seriously, how would I know that I could drive down to the side of the broken bridge and, like, drive into a little cave or something with water and stuff? How am I supposed to know that? You would have to look through the map beforehand. You would have to, like, take a look around the map to really find all these shortcuts. But why would I do that? I just want to, you know, play, drive, and that kind of stuff. I don't want to look around the map. Oh, yeah, and about the map, it is incredibly boring. Yeah, sure, it's like, woo and woo but everything feels so short. Like, seriously, when you fall from the bridge, it doesn't give off the same, like, vibes as something from Mario Kart, where you would be, for example, driving through this cannon and Waluigi's pinball. Instead, it feels like you're driving up in the air for, like, two seconds, and you just fall, and you hope that you will not crash into, like, this wooden thingy, because there's something in the way. Sometimes you just crash into it, and you lose all your momentum. It's not as much fun, and actually, I'd go as far to say as that it isn't fun at all. And one of my last issues, there are no power-ups. The only thing you have on the road are these boosts, and they are, can I just say that sometimes I feel like these boosts are incredibly annoying to use and I'd much rather just drive normally, because you lose a lot of control when you use them. Sure, when you're at like the finishing line, then you can boost because it's safe. And I know it's there's like a risk factor in this, like just as taking shortcuts, you risk crashing into a wall, but it's not fun to take the risk. It, it's not fun at all. No. So, you have a racing mode in Rec Room that has a single map, just boosts, no abilities whatsoever, no power-ups, no nothing, just boosts. And that's it. Like, that's literally it. Honestly, I expected much more from Rec Rally. Again, I played the beta and I, I already like played through the whole thing. And it was really fun and I, I couldn't wait to see what else they would add to the, to the game because they said that it was an older beta and you could really tell that. So, what could they do to fix Rec Rally? So, what could they do? Number one, add more maps. Yeah, they made this with custom maps in mind, but honestly, custom maps will never have the same magic as Rec Room original maps. So, number two, power-ups. Yeah, you know, something like a sword or a paintball pistol really would spice up the gameplay. There's really nothing to be worried about when driving in Rec Rally. Yeah, sure, people can bump into you, but most of the time, they bump into you and you just continue driving. Like, that's it. There's only a few times that where you ever hit somebody and you completely throw them off the road. And the only time I experienced that was once in the beta, where the cars were faster, uh, bumping was a lot more extreme, stuff like that. So, add power-ups. Number three, fix the buggies. Seriously, the buggies feel so slow and so janky. Honestly, just revert back to the beta buggies. They were really good. They were snappy, they were fast, and we had less boosts, which made it much more skill-based. Now, it's all about picking up the boosts and constantly spamming them. That's, that's the whole gameplay. It's just drive into three of these boost thingies, press the boost button, uh, get more boosts, boost, and that's, that's it. That's how you win a game. That's all you do. And lastly, add cosmetics for this RRO. I know they've added like two outfits, but you can get these from random boxes. Yeah, there's a shop in Rec Rally, but you really don't have to spend your money on that. You just win a game in dodgeball and you'll also get the racing suit. Like seriously, there is no reason to play the RRO other than to drive a bus. And even that reason is gone because people have already made custom rooms. Honestly, if you want to have fun with buggies, I think you should check out BVR's buggy room. I forgot the name, but it's really cool and it's something different. It's something else. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Oh, actually before I end the video, I just wanted to leave a message for Dark Magma. I will be breaking into your apartment if you don't deliver my couch in approximately four days. So get going.